This is the final plate in part one, and we'll begin with understanding uh, this uh, Order of the Knights of Malta, uh, Order of the Knights Templar, a little bit, but uh, with just some images. Here's the Swiss flag, here is the Red Cross, um, and they like these charitable organizations to make them look good. The Knights Templar uh, and that Templar cross, uh, they were known for stamping, uh, or stamping on the cross, and this was a ritual they did to denounce Christ and what he did for you. And so that's a dis depiction of that. Novice Knights Templar initiation, uh, initiate trampling the cross of Christ. Gnosticism, and you can see this uh, red Knights uh, Maltese cross. Uh, this is the creation of modern Freemasonry from Gnosticism to, uh, and the Jesuits did this. They, the Jesuits were into Gnosticism and it simply transformed into modern Freemasonry. Uh, Freemasonry uh, were uh, uh, masons and builders, yes, and they built cathedrals and were uh, all the way going back, architects and, uh, and craftsmen were revered. And so they had uh, exclusive clubs this way, and speculative Freemasonry is the intellectual side of Freemasonry, which uh, 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 religiousized it. Uh, every, all of our culture has been um, infused with religion for a very long time. So anyway, Gnostic Templars, and you can understand where Gnosticism is in the second part. He does a hand sign that is common in the priesthoods and Freemasonry as well. So you see this now also moving on with the double cross. You can see not only do they have a triple cross, but they have a double cross. That is where I believe we get the term uh, double crossing, which is to uh, backstab someone uh, or lie that way uh, deceptively. You see the Knights Templar cross and crown, skull and bones, and you see the emblems with this double cross. Knights uh, of Columbus, uh, as well in this. The Templars, like all other secret orders and associations, had two doctrines. doctrines. One concealed and reserved for the Masters, which was Johannism, which is Gnosticism, and the other public, which was the Roman Catholic, meaning that they looked and act like Roman Catholics when on the inside they were Gnostics and secret society members. And you see here a Nazi member with his double cross. Moving on to Knights Templar, and you can see on the website uh, the use of the double cross and, of course, the triple cross on the bottom. This is the Iron Cross, and that Iron Cross has roots with Templars, whether it's red or white or black. Uh, Hitler wore this Iron Cross. But moving on with the double cross, again, Knights Templar and the double cross. They also have that triple cross. Here is a famous Satanist, not as well known, but uh, nonetheless Satanist, and use of that double cross and this infinity symbol, meaning uh, uh, they are uh, wanting that their uh, religion to be uh, for eternity. So here is Marilyn Manson, a great example because he uses this double cross as well. Has the ring that is the double cross, and also this is now the movie. Oh, gosh, what is that? V for Vendetta. And so you see that double cross being used. You see the double cross in logos, Exxon, Oreo, Nabisco, and, of course, great causes of uh, going against tuberculosis. They like to make themselves look great. So here is Hitler, uh, and you see now the Maltese cross being used. You see uh, uh, Nazis here. Here's the Iron Cross, Hitler's Iron Cross, and here the Maltese Cross on this side, and the Iron Cross as well. So all of these papal knighthoods. This is not British knighthoods. It's all Roman uh, colonial system uh, knighthoods. Now let's look at the Knights of Malta. And this is just a uh, depiction of uh, the Jesuits uh, and Kolbenbach, the uh, former black Pope, and this person has shown uh, that they are uh, really involved in death and infiltration and all of that bad stuff. War, really. That's why they're called Jesuit generals. Uh, Order of the Knights of Malta, looking at that, this is one of the, I believe this is a Rothschild, and you see his red Maltese cross. And uh, I don't know who these are. I believe there was a Maltese cross here. I don't know why I put these uh, plates in. But moving along, Sovereign Grand Lodge of Malta, uh, ancient, free, and accepted masons. And then we have the Maltese cross. 
Order of Malta, now in Nazi Germany. They had their own version, uh, with complete with swastika in the center. And you can see that being worn prominently uh, on the collar. Prince Charles Edwards, a German duke, and you can see he is a knight of Malta. Continuing on with Knights of Malta, I believe that's a Maltese cross. I did this, oh, uh, this was interesting, is because there was a Maltese-style uh, crucifix. And I believe this is a Habsburg, I'm not sure, but that is a royal, uh, a papal bloodline. And so, uh, looking at uh, Mussolini, Franco, all now allegiance toward Rome, you can see that. And here is the Queen, her Knight of Malta, Queen Beatrice, and this, I'm sorry, yeah, Princess Beatrice. This is Prince uh, Bernard or Barnhard, uh, and he is the founder of the uh, Bilderberg Group, and that is well known to be a secret society or elite members that, that meet and decide uh, world uh, events and uh, where the direction of the world is, and her receiving her uh, knighthood. And so she's all in the family. Here he is with all of his Knights of Malta uh, crosses and cape. And there you are, elite or ever elusive. And so there she is. She is actually the owner of Shell Oil. They own everything. And it is not an understatement to say that. Uh, who formed uh, the CIA? Uh, Wild Bill Donovan. He's a Knight of Malta and the FBI Knight of Malta. Charles uh, Bonaparte. Uh, this is um, General... I don't know if it's Westmoreland or not. I don't think it's that. This is key right here. Moving on to General Boykin. He is the general that was uh, involved with PSYOPs and that movie Black Hawk Down. He goes around to with an evangelical organization, Calvary Chapel, uh, church, uh, but in fact, he is a knight of Malta, and this is his ceremony. And so you have now ca uh, Catholics, infiltrators, uh, knights of Malta, Malta infiltrating other churches and bringing all churches back to Rome. And it was actually asked of him why he did this, because he's an evangelical, uh, and he said that he was actually infiltrating the Catholic Church. Now, come on. Um, Knights of Malta are involved in CIA, therefore it's logical to understand that he is PSYOPs and therefore involved with intelligence. And he is simply, uh, that's the opposite of what he's doing, is infiltrating um, the evangelical church. Because if you understand Vatican II, it's all about uh, uh, bringing ecumenic uh, the ecumenical movement uh, in and bringing infiltration and bringing all churches back to Rome. It's understood completely that way. This is his good friend and Pentecostal Protestant preacher. And if you understand his ministry and see his ministry, it's downright demonic. People uh, rolling around, acting crazy, uh, drum beating, and uh, uh, it's all demonic possession. And it's completely unbelievable that we would even allow this type of person. He's a general. He speaks of dominionism. He goes around to the churches and is a warmonger to tell you everybody's just out to get us. Yes, they have radicalized Islam to the point that now the West has to defend this. So yes, they are fueling both sides of war. And as a true Christian, I am not about war. I am about peace. And we should have our feet shot about with the gospel of peace, according to what uh, Ephesians says and uh, the Apostle Paul. So this alliance, he actually funds, uh, not funds, but he dissem disseminates all of General Boykin's uh, religious material uh, through his ministry called Morning Star. Interesting uh, that they choose that name because there are similarities and counterfeits going on in the Bible with regard to that particular name. Okay, um, uh, South African leader. Haile uh, Selassie of Ethiopia, and talk about selling your people out. Um, that whole continent has been raped by the colonial system. He is also wearing this five-pointed uh, Maltese cross, and you saw that on uh, Napoleon, and it, it seems to be some kind of Order of the Phoenix. Look at the decoration that he has. 
the uh, this is uh, Puff Daddy or Sean Combs, and uh, I believe that looks like a Maltese cross. Anyway, they adorn themselves that way. We understand here that is definitely a Maltese cross, and this is that um, uh, Miley Cyrus. This is a joke here. It has to be. Um, and it all he's done, really, he was a Satanist. Now he turned Knight of Malta. All he did was really change uniforms. So in the his secret doctrine is Satanism, and his outward doctrine now uh, was uh, the Knight of Malta. And it really is simply changing uniforms because uh, they are both one and the same. And, of course, there is that sign of the benediction, which has come to be known as the peace sign.